Let me update you on what's going on. We have no power in the bus. Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. Last episode on Red, White, and Bethune, you got to see behind the scenes. I had a tough mental day. Kyle did a lot of screwing. And we had to get creative. Kyle got a new coffee machine. We had so much fun working together. I had to get a lacrobatic. And Eli cleaned the bus. Let's see what's going on this episode. Well, Kyle was supposed to take you along with him yesterday while he was working on the mini split, but he did not. He did not have a very good mental day yesterday, and so the mini splits did not get worked on at all. But we're gonna be working on them day together. And yeah, I need to go change my clothes because he went out to breakfast this morning. I need to go change my clothes and pick you back up so we can get started on hooking these babies up. I am so over bus projects. I don't want to do anymore. I don't want to do anymore. I am done. I am finished. I don't know if my marriage can survive any more bus projects, to be honest with you. <sighs> but I will update you on what we've done. We have the first unit in the front is already, we got the pipe. We have no freaking clue what we're going to do with the drain, but we have the pipes ran. It's all hooked up back here. They go all through here into there. And this one, yeah, as you can see dumpster fire. The back bedroom though, even more fun. My entire room is completely torn apart. The boxwood is off the wall. We thought we would run the drain through there, but unfortunately there's a firewall. So we don't know what we're doing with this drain, but all the, the piping and all the stuff is ran behind here. And the unit is mounted to the wall. Both indoor units are mounted to the wall. That's a plus. And honestly, the Mr. Cool system has been really fantastic as far as like plug and play. Like if you were in a house, breathe. Simple, easy peasy, like lemon squeezy, awesome. But we're not in a house, we're in a bus. Everything in a bus has to be custom. It's a little bit harder. I would recommend if you're building your own bus, do this at the beginning because it we would be done by now if this is at the beginning, if this is done at the beginning stages. Let me just show you more of the dumpster fire that is my life. Boxes everywhere. Luckily we'll be able to burn most of this at Bethune Docking. So let's check on Kyle and how he's doing today and what his emotional state is with working on bus projects. Hey guys. Oh, hello. <laughs> How's it going? It's kicking my rear end. It's really not. I mean, it's a very simple, everything's included. Everything's well marked and well designed. Our application, the way we, we ran the coolant lines, it's just not been easy. Picking them up now, I'm gonna power them on here, hopefully within the hour, see if they work. And if they work, I've got a lot of clean up, I'm gonna mount them. Put my bedroom back clean together. Clean wires up, wrap tape and insulate, so we still got plenty to do. I at least wanna get them running, make sure they're gonna run right before I go any further. But Mr. Cool, I mean, it's a very well, I mean, it's a nice product, it's very well made. They make it super simple, so even a dummy like me can do it. Yeah, I mean, everything's color coded, and then you got a nice little diagram down here also numbers. I mean, they make it pretty simple for you. You got your three lines coming from your inside unit going here to communicate. You got your live wire, your neutral wire for your power and then your ground. You got a ground for your inside unit too. It's pretty simple. It's just these things are not the easiest thing to work with. These copper, I've never worked with copper lines before and they were, uh, they were a challenge, especially trying to get it through the areas we tried to get it through. But uh, hopefully we'll have them running here in a little bit. Let me update you on what's going on. We have no power in the bus. Kyle cut the power to the other ACs, so he had to cut the whole power off on the bus so he could try and hook up the mini splits. But then it, there was like some bolt or piece or something that he didn't have that he didn't know that he needed. So he had to go down to Lowe's to get the pieces. I put the dogs outside in their fence. I'm hanging out outside because there's no air or power in the bus. But at least the sunset was really pretty. Look at that sunset on the farm. It's gorgeous, isn't it? These mini splits have for sure kicked our behinds and we are so tired of projects and renovations and all the things. 
but it is what it is. And so hopefully Kyle can get back, put the bolty thingy on the mabobber doodle technical term, and then he can have the mini splits up and running. So we'll see. You probably cannot see very well because Kyle got back, brought us food, and now he is working on getting the power turned back on. Without further ado. Hello. How's it going? It's in dark out here, huh? With mosquitoes. Yeah, my fucking mosquitoes are about to carry me away. Mosquitoes carry me away. <laughs> trying to release the gas inside in the condenser now. I'm gonna turn her on and see what she do. Turn on both of them? Turn power back on. They're both plugged in. We just have one problem though. What? Where are the drains gonna go? Uh, we'll figure that out. <laughs> right now I wanna get out of these mosquitoes. <sighs> All right, let's plug her on in. Heard a click. What is anything? Is it working? Oh, not yet. Let there be light, my friends. Let there be light. <gasps> it turned on. It went open. That's so. Is it supposed to be that quiet? Mm -hmm. That's so freaking quiet. Yeah. How cool is that? Not cool. Not cool. Why not? It's just quiet. It's just quiet. How does it feel for them to be powered on right now? Does Good. it feel cool? <laughs> you want me to stop talking? Yeah, to I'm just thing? trying to figure this out, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we have got cold air. It's on 69 degrees. How do you feel? Just want to hopefully it cools the bus adequately. Well, we've got the drain going out the window for tonight. We're <laughs> real world putting this in. We have our drain running out there for the night. The Mr. Cool is blowing pretty darn cool. Let's just hope that it can cool all of the bus. What have we got going on now? Moving on to the next thing. Got my new coffee maker. Your espresso maker. Fancy. Your espresso. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Finds the beans. Excited. Are you like super happy right now? Yeah, I can't have it tonight though. Oh, but you can <sighs> read it and get it all ready for the morning for some espresso. Mm -hmm. Eli got some ice cream, right? Is it good? Mm -hmm. What flavor is it? McDonald's. McDonald's flavor? Oh, so you mean like an Oreo McFlurry. Oh, McDonald's. McDonald's flavor. You get to this, that bed back there, call in my name. What about you? <laughs> I'll pick you up in the morning. Good night. Say good night, Weezy. Stop Say good night, Weezy. Who's a good Wee Wee? Who's a good Fee Fee? And the Kevos? And the Kevos? Hi. Good night, everybody. Well, hey, we got a busy day going on. We haven't showed you a few things, so I am actually going to pass you up to Kyle. Yeah, you got that right. Up to Kyle, and he's going to tell you what is going on and why there is a skylight in my bus. Without further ado, here you go. Hey there guys, hope you guys are well. Yeah, I'm actually up on the roof, if you can see. I'm up on the roof. As you saw, I've seen by now, we got the mini splits installed. So our rooftops were mounted here and then right over there in the old emergency hatchways. If you guys have been following us for a long time, you might know when we originally took the hatches out, we ended up, we had these stainless steel covers made that we mounted the ACs to and it worked fantastic. It worked really good. So we're instead of just kind of covering it, leaving nothing here to improve the ventilation in the bus, we're actually putting max air fans in here and then we're putting one right there. I got the base put down, I got it screwed down and I got it all die-cored up. Got the one up there done. I got my wiring up there. So now I got to run my wiring and then we can bring the max airs up and wire them up. Easy peasy. One of the big things that I've always had a complaint about this bus is the ventilation and the airflow through the bus. Because if you weren't running the AC, it just it just got stuffy in there and it just, some, just air wouldn't move. The way the windows are designed, we just could not get air moving through the bus. So hopefully this will be a good uh, solution. Everybody I know that has these says they love them. If you have max airs in your RV, let me know in the comments below how you like them. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a good upgrade to the bus. We're gonna have two, so we'll be able to have one in the front. We can kind of push air in one way, put out the other and vice versa. So. Hopefully we'll create some good airflow through the bus and kind of take a little pressure off the ACs when it's not super hot. While Kyle is working on the Max Airs, I am out here working on getting stuff back into the bay because it's been a little messy, but I had the boys clear it all out for me. And oh, we got a new Kilty chair. Look at this. We got a new chair because our other one finally bit the dust which was partially our fault because we left it out in the weather and all the things. So 
we had to get a new one. But I've got to put all of this stuff back into the bay and I'll show you what it looks like whenever I get wrapped up with it. As you can see, it is dark outside. I'm sorry I did not pick it up sooner than now, but if you look above me, there is a Max Air fan. That is in there. Crazy, right? Kyle's got the wood that's gonna go mount around it. Kyle's got the wood he just cut it that's gonna mount around it. We're going to put them up there. We're gonna paint it white. We have Bethune docking in two days. Two days, two more sleeps, and it's Bethune docking. So we have a lot of projects we need to finish before Bethune docking happens. I'm gonna show you what I did today. I put some new curtains up for the kids. Aren't they cute with this little pattern they got on them? And mostly the buses stayed fairly clean. However, we still have so much to do. I put a curtain over the washer. Dun dun dun! looks great, right? We've got, you know, a few more projects to do. I never, ever, 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 ever want to renovate anything ever again. This, I'm just, I'm worn out, I'm tired, Kyle is worn out, Kyle is tired, and I'm just ready for all of these renovations to be finished. But tomorrow, once they all get done, I'll take you through the bus and show you exactly what we did. And then of course, you're coming along for Bethune docking. You're going to be here hanging out with us and everybody else that's gonna be at Bethune docking. So right now, I'm going to put the camera down down, finish helping Kyle so we can get this done. Let's go. I did promise you a look at what we were doing. Kyle got the Max Air fans in. Thank goodness. They look really good. We haven't decided if we're going to paint them yet or not. But let me know down below if we should paint them or if we should just leave them the natural wood color because it blends in really well. What do you think? They work great. Yep, they are awesome, pulls the air in or takes the air out. And Kyle did a fantastic job getting these up here. That is one more project down. We have a few things to do tomorrow. Kyle's got to install a cabinet door, put up the kids' rock wall, and I don't think we're gonna get to the new vent for the multi-purpose tank. I think that's gonna have to be after Bethune docking, but we're really excited about Bethune docking and it's gonna be a lot of fun and can't wait until you can join us. I'm going to put this down and get to bed. My bench for over here is supposed to be here tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a good day. We're gonna get things wrapped up and get Bethune docking ready. Good night. Janiah Bradley was last seen on September the 14th, 2021, outside of Oceanside, California. She was born April 22nd, 2007, 14 years of age, female, African American, brown hair, brown eyes, 4 foot 11 inches tall, and approximately 109 pounds. If you have any information to the whereabouts of Janiah, please reach out to the Oceanside Police Department at 1-760-435-4900 and see if you can try to help bring Janiah home. Yeah.